Hello everybody, I'm Nate and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I have another yo-yo review for you. Uh, man, it's uh, I've got quite a few actually right now uh, that I will be reviewing, so you'll see quite a few yo-yo reviews. So today we have a uh, new yo-yo from G-Way Yo-Yos. This is their third release as a company. This is the Regulator, so let's go ahead and get into the Regulator. So I really like this design right away. I, uh, you know, it's just like, ooh, this is different. Uh, you know, it's it definitely still has that G-Way sort of flair to it, uh, but it's different and and that's a good thing, right? But it definitely has, like, they have a, a distinctive sort of look to it. Like they have some kind of iconic, you know, sort of looks to their design and, uh, and I, it certainly seems like they're following a pattern of design and I really like that, right? It's, it's kind of like when you're establishing a brand, with yo-yo, it's really good to kind of have some like, you can look at a yo-yo and be like, wow, that must be from the G-Way catalog, for instance, you know? And uh, the regulator has that feel. Um, I would put this in the uh, W shape, right? Uh, that would be certainly where I'd put this, but the gap is unique. It has a high wall. It's not really high wall, but it is high-ish. So it's not flared out maybe as much as some, you know, some wing designs would be. Uh, but yeah, it's really it's again. It's just unique and I love I love the curves of this yo-yo just very aesthetically pleasing happy You know happy design you have the spikes that are on here that are kind of iconic for their yo-yos as well So they are long enough to matador as well I would say you know I, I I'd have to see kind of maybe a cad of this, but it doesn't seem to be uber rim weighted It doesn't really seem to be majorly center weighted now we do have kind of like a a centering ring right there on the actual hub design um, so perhaps you know it has a little bit of center weight uh, and it has a little bit of i'm sorry mid weight rather not center weight mid weight uh, but it does have some center weight with the longer spike there as well i also appreciate this has a 12 millimeter axle so it's a little bit longer it's not like crazy long it's not like 16 or something but it is a little bit longer so that's nice now the actual gap design again is really unique it has a high-ish wall but it has kind of a smooth sort of design there um, let's go ahead and take it apart so you can see it a little bit better with that so this is what I mean here. We've seen this on a couple of their yo-yos already. So you have a kind of a, a scalloped in sort of design. So you have less string drag, but a kind of, I don't know, a higher wall sort of feel. So it's gonna be really nice for regens, things like that. A lot of their designs tend to be, you know, not majorly pushing sort of the performance focus, right? Not intentionally, um, while still being very capable and still being performance enough that you're going to get those spin times you're going to get that stability most of their yo-yos including this one have just a little bit of just kind of more comfort um, and sort of everyday kind of laid back design feel to it and this is no different with the regulator i would say of all their designs so far this might be just because of the w shape and the the width of it and the diameter and everything else going for it might be a little bit more performance focused than their others in the past the other first two uh, but still has that kind of just fun, you know, comfortable quality to it. I think the 62, you know, grams is actually gonna work really well for this yo-yo. And, and I say that because, you know, if it was really uber rim weighted, I don't know if that lighter feel would feel right, but because it seems like the weight distribution is pretty evenly distributed, dis weight distribution is evenly distributed, um, that 62 or on that lighter side kind of feels right. Um, at least on the, you know, on the specs and looking at it. But let's actually go play it and see if we are right about that. And so let's go do that right now. All right. All right, welcome back to the on the string section with the regulator from G-Way yo-yos so uh let's just go ahead and throw a couple of the standard tricks with it and see how it plays for that first let's talk about the gap and how like maybe sort of competitive it is you know that smooth ring does kind of aid in that a little bit as far as 
less string drag and so I have no problem getting like four wraps in there uh, on both sides there and still having enough uh, spin to kind of bind it really consistently so really nice I do like the weight on this you know um, 62 ish grams roughly is on the kind of on the lighter side you know i think anything be below kind of the whenever it's come to full size yo-yos anything kind of below like the 64 um, i feel like that's kind of getting into the lighter side and so when you're pushing in the lower end of the 60s you know sometimes it could be a little bit too light um, especially for maybe a full size yo-yo but i actually really like the feel on this it kind of has um i wouldn't say a floaty quality to it but it certainly has a little bit more of a nimble quality now it may not because of that you know uh, have the most like incredible spin time maybe if it was like another gram heavier it might have a little bit more spin time but i actually really like the feel of this uh, it's not an uber rim weighted yo-yo anyways it's actually got a little bit i don't know kind of a general not even mid or center weight it has kind of just an overall you know kind of equal weight distribution and so it's not going to be super like pushed like majorly pushed towards competition focus anyways uh, none of their yo-yos have been that way but have been very capable still and i feel like this is a really capable shape uh, and it's still going to get you what you want right uh, perhaps of all the yo-yos that they've released this third release here might actually still be their most competition focused yo-yo uh, but yeah i like it a lot i do like the feel on the string i think you know it's just a nice kind of laid back feel a little bit but also again still can be pushed a little bit um so it's kind of a nice blend right not uber competitive not uber sort of laid back but just kind of a nice blend of the two uh, i do like the feel on the hand on the catch really nice and flat on there kind of uh, nice and wide i've been messing with this like sort of like double on uh one and a half and then kind of rejecting out the or moving to the back i got not really rejecting but and then opening up here and I don't know what to do with that. I don't know. But there's been some kind of, I don't know, there's been some fun findings in this. You ever mess with like one mount, a couple, like a lot, and just see what it might do? And I don't know, and just kind of experiment with that for a while. I kind of just do that until I find something. You know, I'll, pro I'll probably repeat a motion like a billion times before I find something that I'm like, ooh, that clicks and I like that. And I'm going to build that into a trick. So that's kind of my process with building tricks. It, generally takes a lot longer right to kind of find something that I like um, and then I oftentimes come back to something you know that I've done a, a billion times before right and kind of add to it or kind of make it different um, I find myself oftentimes just kind of doing the same tricks I'm like oh I did that trick 10 years ago and I didn't even realize it um, but uh, that's why I film my tricks so that I remember them honestly uh, because I will forget. It doesn't really have an IRG, but it can pop up. I actually hit that ring, kind of the inner ring accidentally. So you could kind of like, it's got a deep enough bowl there and uh, that you could do that, but it doesn't have an IRG on the outside rim there. Uh, the spikes, like I mentioned, are long enough to matador and so on. So you can do pull starts or um, what have you and, and just go to town with that. Um, and it, it will finger spin as well apart from that so if i just want to pop it up um i can still you know finger spin just fine um that wasn't a great example but but anyways yeah it does that it does the job just fine i'm really liking um what they're putting out as a uh, as a company really really good unique designs they have a little bit of their own flair and it seems like you know not everything's like oh here was just like a cookie cutter sort of like you know, I've seen this design before uh, from other companies or whatever, but it's their own unique flair and their own design that's just really nice. It's a really clean design, but it's got unique sort of features. It's got some really great curves to it and uh, just a, a really nice aesthetically pleasing yo-yo that plays really well. That's a nice blend between that performance focused and that competition uh, focus and just kind of laid back right and just a nice just a nice yo-yo they've been putting out some again really solid yo-yo so if you've never checked out g-way yo-yos i think the regulator would be a great start for you and uh, i think you'll enjoy this one as much as i have all right until the next one later